Welcome to Urban Data Modeler tutorial. In this discussion, we will be talking about uh, templates. Templates in Urban are just like the templates in Microsoft Word. Uh, what you can do is you can create domains, naming standards, you can uh, write few macros, uh, thereby when a logical model uh, is used to derive the physical model, we, we get a particular type of uh, naming standard. And you can change the themes, colors, fonts, so on and so forth. And once you develop a model and save it as a template, uh, we can use this template to create uh, new models thereby uh, we can enforce the enterprise-wide standards let's see how we can do that okay so in this demonstration I'll be showing um, uh, how to create domains some naming standards and few macros and then uh, we'll save it as a template and then open a new model using the template so let me create a domain So I created this and then I'll create one more okay so I created uh, demos and then I'll create some naming standards uh, so I already created here an enterprise naming standard I'll make it active and for the words that constitute the glossary I'm just going to the spreadsheet that has all this captured and I'll import that and this is my header record from the file I'll delete that I'm saying close now with this I have uh, created domains in my model I have created naming standards and let us do uh, some modification uh, okay sorry before that I need to ensure that I check these boxes so that my naming standards are uh, actually uh, working and say while creating the table I want it to prefix as t underscore and say all my relationships should say for whatever reason end with fk and all my indexes should have x as uh, prefixed okay and say my model in my physical model I want to ensure that always the tables are in lowercase and attributes are in lowercase uh, so domains and um, columns are in lowercase and similarly for logical I want everything uh, follow a camel case where the first letter is um, a capital and rest of them are uh, in a lowercase uh, so and then say the background the background here you're seeing it as a blue that's because it's a default theme and what I'll do is I need to go to the model explorer right click and properties go to defaults here uh, the default theme is the one which is giving us the blue color you can go to the classic theme which gives us the uh, white background we can as well go here and click one of these to change the entire settings I will not be doing that for this uh, demonstration uh, but I, so I choose classic so it's white background I click close and one other thing I can be doing is um, probably yeah probably add a uh, annotation uh, showing which is logical versus physical so I'll just create quickly logical model and name logical model and then I could say for this the line should be no line and I want to make it bold and color of this should be say, something like orange and this should be only visible uh, for me in the logical side only uh, similarly I want to create one on the physical side okay now we have done enough and say this these are my standards that I want to follow across all my models and so what I need to do now is save this and when I save this since I want to share this uh, standards that I have done to the model across uh, um, across with other other developers what I'll do is I'll save it as template and here you can find it as save as type template so let me say this is like home demo template 
okay and I save this now it has uh, saved the template for me now let's close this and now say I'm, a, I'm a another developer or and what I'm trying to do is develop a model and I go to match template I'm using Irwin version 9 uh, that's why uh, that the user interface uh, would be a little different uh, for different people okay I have come back uh, to the template I have created so I click open and it has opened the model in here Okay. and once I click OK since my template was logical physical I'll get a template I will I'll, sorry create a new model uh, which is logical physical so once I click OK uh, so it has created a new model for me and it has all the standards that I set for it so for example I go to logical and it has all the domains I created and when I go to standards it has the standards that I created and uh, let me see if, if the yeah I have checked in that the initial cases should be uh, capitalized and then all the names should be in smaller case and the name mapping is checked with some prefixes and suffixes that I wanted uh, so so my template is ready and uh, and I could be using it across all my models so that uh, all the standards are uh, by default implemented in this model and it saves a lot of time in, in developing models. Hope this uh, video was informative and thanks a lot for watching.